What's up everybody? Welcome back to this paperweight project. We are still working on this 2010 Chevy Impala. In the last video, we had some trials and tribulations with the transmission, had to pull it back out a few times, had to go through the valve body, but we finally got it driving right. All right, so finally, seems like we got the transmission working right on our 2010 Impala. We worked on the motor, we changed the oil in it, fixed the oil pan gasket leak, rear main seal, did the mount on the bottom, rebuilt the entire transmission, went back into it, put a new differential because the differential blew up, and then drove it around and went back into the valve body, updated the valve body a little more because um, it wasn't acting right. So now we're gonna have to... Uh... And then we found a radiator leak. Looks like I found one. So we ended up having to replace the radiator as well. And this job was in fact as hard as it looks in this video. Oh my God, damn. But needless to say, this job was not a problem for handyman Eddie. This job calls for about three hours round trip and we're getting this thing out in about 20 minutes. So we're making pretty good time right now. But once we get it out, we got to swap a few things over. We have to swap over the transmission cooler lines. And let me tell you, those fittings can be very tight and very hard to get off. We also have to swap over the whole electric fan assembly. And it just clips into some plastic fittings as well. We also have to swap over the radiator hoses themselves. But once you get it all swapped over, it really isn't a problem to get it back in. It went back in in about 5 to 10 minutes for me. The radiator installed. New radiator installed. We were looking pretty good, so we took it for a road test. Passed the initial road test as well. So we took it to go get in state inspection, and it passed VA state inspection. So we were looking really good. But on the way back from the state inspection, we ran into a problem. We come across a check engine light, and we had reduced engine power. Okay, so we're dealing with a PO or a P2122, which is accelerator position sensor. Accelerator pedal position sensor, APP sensors. With some, what that is is essentially a gas pedal. So we're gonna stick this on and uh, hopefully get rid, gets rid of that code and uh, we'll be driving nice again. This is a common problem on these Chevy Impalas. The accelerator pedal sensor goes bad in the old style assembly and Dorman has made a new style assembly that's a huge plastic unit. This was giving this Impala some shifting issues, some weird shifting problems. So I was scared something happened in the transmission again, but thank God it was only this accelerator pedal sensor. It's easy to swap out. It's only two bolts. It's pretty easy to reach underneath the dash and the new system looks pretty good. All right, got it installed. So we're gonna clear the code and drive it. Hopefully it'll be all right now. And it was all right. It was driving really good. Um, I was very pleased with it. This paperweight project actually came a far way. Uh, it took me about a month to complete. And once we had it complete, we brought it back in for one final lift check. <clears throat> All right, so we have uh, successfully finished our paperweight project on this 2010 Impala. We went over everything we've done. We rebuilt the transmission. We had to pull it out a few times, go through the valve body a few times, um, do a couple other things. We replaced the radiator on the vehicle. We uh, did some wheel bearings. We got it a good front end alignment. Uh, and that's basically the general gist of everything we did to this thing to take it from a paperweight that did, didn't move in the parking lot to a nice running vehicle that somebody can drive and ride around. It's important to remember when you're dealing with these paperweight projects that a lot of the stuff that you think would be working properly or was working properly when the vehicle was parked may not still be working properly because when vehicles sit over time, they tend to generate problems. And in this case, we got a little lucky. All we had to do was replace a wheel bearing and a radiator, uh, other than the main problem that it came in for, which it wouldn't move forward. So moving forward, um, we're gonna do a couple more paperweight projects. We have a Hyundai outside. We're gonna start our next project on and um, we're gonna see what it uncovers with that. It's kind of the same situation with this. 
didn't move forward so we're going to take a look at that but anyways chevy impala no longer a paperweight it is now a good running car and the project is completed i thank you for watching thank you for tuning into these paperweight projects be sure to like and subscribe leave any comments and um if you want some more paperweight projects let me know we're going to be continuing doing this